Hey guys, welcome back. This video we are going to be discussing on delete with foreign keys. My name is Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker 2 and I hope you guys enjoy the video. On delete is essentially a way we can configure the way our foreign keys work. And it kind of goes back to the last video, so I really recommend you watch that. We are going to discuss parent and children. So we're going to have a parent row, which is the row being referenced, and then we're going to have the child, which is the row referencing that parent. And we need to discuss what happens when we delete the parent. What happens to the child? Well, there's actually three, kind of four options with MySQL. And the options are restrict, cascade, and set null. And we are going to be discussing each one of these. Now, there's also no action, which is just another name for restrict, but it's not always the same thing in different database management systems. So if you ever use a different database, know that there might be a difference between no action and restrict. But in MySQL, they're the same thing. So restrict, that's the default. So if you just make a foreign key and you don't say anything, like you don't put on delete something, the one that's going to be applied is restrict. Overall, these are pretty easy to understand. It's more important that you just know that they're there in case you need to use them. So the parent and then the child. The first one, restrict, is literally just going to prevent us from deleting the parent. That's the default, so if you go and delete the parent row, you're going to get an error, and MySQL is not gonna let you do that. Cascade, on the other hand, will actually send the same command down to the child and delete the child. So if we delete this parent row, the child row will be deleted as well. Now if we go to set null, what that means is that the field within this child row that references the parent, so let's say this is all the information we have, Maybe an ID of seven, and it depends on what the, the table's about. But let's say it's a user's table, we might have a user's name. And then we'll have a column that references that parent. And if we, for some reason, delete this parent when on delete is set to set null, what that'll do is replace whatever value that's here, referencing the parent, to null. That might be useful if you want to be able to delete the parent, but you don't want to also delete the child. Because if you did restrict, you couldn't delete the parent. If you did cascade, it would delete the child. But finally, set null will allow you to delete the parent without deleting the child. <laughs> a lot of words there, it kind of gets complex, but I think once we go into actually creating tables, this will make a lot more sense, but it's really good to go through the conceptual stuff first. So then when you get there, you're not completely lost and we can just kind of do a little bit of refreshing. The important thing to remember here though, is that this column cannot be set to not null because you couldn't put a null inside of a not null column. So that's not going to work. And actually, there's another setting you can do, which is on update. This one is used a little bit less, but it essentially works the same way. But instead of deleting the parent, what we do is we actually change the value that's being referenced. So let's say we have the value seven, and we have the value seven here, and we reference the seven, and then we change the seven to eight. With restrict, it's just not going to let you change it and it's gonna force it to stay at seven. Cascade will send that change down to the child and they'll both be changed to eight. Set null will literally just erase this value here. So that's kind of how all of those work. And the reason on update is used less is because primary keys are not supposed to change. So it's really only useful when you're referencing unique data that's not a primary key. So a foreign key can reference a unique column, but a unique column does not have to be the primary key. So this could reference a column that's unique, and theoretically that data could change. So that's where the on update comes in. Now, where do you actually put this information? Well, when you create the foreign key, you will just append on delete, whatever, on update, whatever, and right there in the create table statement. But we'll get into all that when we get to the create table statement. <laughs> so thank you guys. Hopefully that was helpful. If you like this video, please be sure to click subscribe as that really helps my channel out. Click like as that lets other people know this video wasn't a total piece of garbage. <laughs> and that's all. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.